Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker campus and it is a blessing to be with you today. God is always speaking to our hearts. The question is, is it listening? Is it open and surrender so that you can hear the voice of God? Or is it closed and stubborn and refuses to listen to anybody, especially God? That's what we see in Exodus chapter 8. Pharaoh is warned by Moses that if he doesn't let God's people go, that his country will be plagued with frogs. He refuses to listen. So the whole land is filled with these frogs and they are causing havoc everywhere. Pharaoh then calls Moses and Aaron in his time of need and he says this in verse 8. He says, plead with the Lord to take away the frogs from me and my people and I will let the people go to sacrifice to the Lord. Moses then prays to the Lord and the Lord did according to the word of Moses. God answers his prayer and the frogs died out. God was speaking, but was Pharaoh listening? Well, let me read verse 15. But when Pharaoh saw that there was a respite, he hardened his heart and would not listen to them as the Lord had said. If Pharaoh would have listened to God and repented of sin, the plagues don't happen. But a heart that is stubborn, a heart that is hardened, won't listen to reason, won't listen to others, and it definitely will not listen to God. Only a heart that is surrendered will listen to godly wisdom. Only a heart that is surrendered will listen to godly counsel, and more importantly, will listen to God himself. Sometimes, though, like Pharaoh, we want God to change only our circumstances or our immediate need, but not our hearts. Can I remind you today that God is more interested in changing your heart than your circumstances? Only when your heart is surrendered is there eternal change, not a temporary relief. You see, God is bigger than our circumstances. And only when our heart is surrendered can we see above the circumstances, keeping our minds on Christ, knowing that our strength to endure comes from the Lord. God is speaking to your heart today. Is it listening? Or has it grown cold and stubborn because of life? Well, can I encourage you today? Don't be like Pharaoh. Just repent and ask God to forgive you of a stubborn heart. By humbling yourself today, you're actually opening up your heart to listen to God. God bless you and have a wonderful day.